Eight institutions got together to try to understand what are outcomes with modern IMRT-based radiation and SBRT-based radiation in the re-irradiation setting for recurrent head and neck cancer. So this is a really challenging group of patients. This is very high risk uh, treatment, with it, which historically has quite a bit of toxicity. The outcomes aren't as great as we would like. And all of the studies that we have are really old. So nobody really knows in the modern era, how are we doing with these patients? So what we were able to do was amass almost 1,000 patients of data from eight institutions, which is a heroic effort. And by doing that, we have a few uh, presentations tomorrow that look at several questions. The first is, it just looks at how we're doing. And what we found is the cure rates are actually probably better than they used to be, and the side effects are much lower with modern IMRT and SBRT-based re-irradiation for head and neck cancer compared to what all those older studies showed. So the first thing is, we're doing better. It's much safer than we used to think, which is really important both for docs and also for patients to know. A lot of times patients wouldn't have been offered therapy because it was so toxic, but nowadays because we can show that it's so much safer, it should be available for more patients. The second really important thing is Matt Ward, one of our residents, actually was able to stratify patients into three categories by a, an RPA, a recursive partitioning analysis. And what that shows is we were able to break up patients into group one, group two, and group three with incredibly different survivals in all three groups. So for such a kind of a high risk setting, to be able to kind of predict how people are gonna do before we meet them is super helpful in terms of deciding should they go through therapy, uh, should they not go through therapy, and if so, whether IMRT or SBRT. So we were able to, to try to help all oncologists when they see these patients, which are really tricky, make some decisions and counsel patients based on what risk category they're in.